Good morning, and thank you for joining me to play today. I'm finally going to uh, have fun with these two uh, Mindy Lacefield girls. Those little faces are just so adorable to me. And uh, I had uh, used these, I had these pages in my chopped uh, journal, and I... Uh, negative collaged these colors on and I've set them aside and today is the day. Absolutely going to happen. I'm going to start of course with the uh, little girls before I decide what's going to happen around them. The first thing I thought I might want to, want to do is um, bring up some just the tiniest bit of the color in their faces and I'm using um, my Prismacolors and um, their faces have uh, are just the uh, the way they came out of the magazine. These paints were all around these girls, but not on them. So I wanted to see if Prismacolor would pick up some of the colors that uh, Mindy had already applied to them, and yes, it, they do. So just giving a little bit more of a pop to these little girls. Don't want it to be too strong. And this little sweetie has uh, a little bit of green in her little face. If you have not watched Mindy Lacefield on uh, YouTube make these little girls and the many, many eons and jillions of layers that she does to get these beautiful little faces, uh, you're, you're in for a treat. I thought I might just blew up her hair just a smidge more. I'm holding this pencil way back down here at the bottom because I don't want to uh, I don't want to have too much power and I certainly don't want to add any uh, any lines to this that uh, would take away from uh, Mindy's Mindy's little girl. Well, there we go. I think um, we need some, some more pink over here for her, just a little bit. I can be a little stronger with it over here. see what I'm going to do with this hair. Let's just put a little bit more. There we go. There we go. And our little, little eyebrows. And now a little bit of, uh, Min uh, Mindy uses a lot of neon on, uh, on her little girl's faces. So this is a Tombow neon pencil that I had not used very often. Pink up that little nose back there just a little bit. Little tiny, tiny, tiny bit in her little cheeks. No. That's not a um, that's not a prisma color. Let's see if this one will do. I doubt it. Work in, that should work in theory, but there's nothing to equal a little Prismacolor when necessary. Let's see what we get now. Ah, there it is. Prisma to the rescue. I 
think I'm going to uh, stop right there. Because it gets to be like, um, like eating peanuts. Now, just a tiny, tiny, tiny touch for the eyes. And I'm using the uh, Pit Pen F just to add a little bit of, uh, just to give her a little bit of uh, eye color and just tiniest bit here. Yes, I don't I don't want to uh, don't want to overdo here at all. No, I don't. Let's see if I can lighten up the highlight here. Just a little bit. And I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to do too much more. Outline. This area. Rather roughly, but uh, there we go. Enough is enough. Because the temptation is overwhelming to continue to play there. And pretty soon, I'd lose uh, Mindy, and I don't want to do that. So, I'm thinking right over here, might want to have just a bit just a bit of um, some screaming green commonly known as tree frog ceram coat To uh, just put this on in the background. Why I don't know.
let's do some more down here on the bottom so that's a little bit less transparent. And let's see what we have, because there are many colors under that. And this is a fairly transparent green. Yes. All right, now. any over there. Maybe just this bit down here, right there, right up to there. This is a favorite stencil. I use it quite often in many places. Just a hint. that I want to um, play up some pinks. And I'm going to just do that with some uh, with some neons. And let's just see what happens. Hmm. Use Americana neon. It says fiery red. That worries me. Well, that's my only choice. <coughs> or fluorescent. Whoops. Or uh, rose fluorescent. I'm afraid that this is going to be quite. Um, that this is going to be quite transparent. Let's see what happens. Whoa, yes. I do believe this is the maiden voyage for that uh, paint. Let's see. We'll see. And let's see. Yes. Oh, yes. I guess it's not uh, golden. A golden paint for nothing. top of this blue, and it's going to scream uh, purple, but that's okay. And I feel good about doing that on this page because uh, Mindy is a... Uh, a neon user. Let me get this open.
would be uh, quite enough of that. I'm happy that I noticed I'm happy that I noticed this uh, sponge so obviously something up there is uh, is moving. It's okay. Now, I'm wondering if A little blue. A little blue like that blue. This blue is like that blue. This is my uh, sky blue folk art. It's not overdue now. Just a little bit over here. Just the tiniest bit down here. Layers, layers, layers. And now I'm going to uh, dry this a bit and uh, come back because I think I need some, um, I definitely know that I need some uh, white on here to uh, push these backgrounds to the back and start to move forward. Well, now that uh, Mindy's girls have had a time to uh, dry and I've had a time to think, I picked my uh, Ceram Coat Oyster White uh, to add just a little bit of uh, white to the background, but not pure white. Sometimes the, uh, the pure white can be a bit much, so I thought I would uh, see where we were here. All right, now I also have a desire to try out doing some uh, embossing. So, I have had Stampendous Clear Embossing Ink for a while. And uh, this, this is the time. So I'm going to uh, Sure that I clear off anything that might be on the area and then I'm 
going to use just uh, too big, too big. I'm going to use just this one here and lay the ink down through the stencil. I'm acting right now as though I have the slightest idea of what I'm doing. And some white powder. is always an exercise in terror. Alrighty. And now, again, fingers crossed. Yes. Let's see what other colors I might be inclined to use. This is apricot. And this says uh, pink. Let's uh, let's give the pink a try since we know that it works. And let's see what happened here. Okay, let's. Rub that off the uh, stencil. And um, about these two right above her bow, right above her bow. And I have to practically lie down here because I need to see. I need to get that light to be shining so that I know that I have uh, gotten this ink on. Here. Oh my goodness. Bits and pieces. It 
bits and pieces. But I see sparkles in this one. There it is. No sparkles. Here you go. This is just too much fun. And I, let me see if I can show you those sparkles. Here they are. Now, And I'm going to put uh, a couple more white ones over here. And then I think I'm going to, uh, I have in my mind to try something else with, uh, with this Wonder Juice. So you don't need to see me repeat this over and over again. I'm going to add two more and I'll be back. Well, as you can see, I am just playing away. I'm taking out pens and working with things that I haven't touched in quite a while. Right now, I'm working with my uh, Sakura Glaze pen and they are just wonderful. They lay down a, uh, a nice heavy coat of glazed ink. Just wonderful. I heartily recommend them. does, as you can see, it does dry that way and it remains that way. Now, I'm just thinking a few little green leaves here and there. Just 
to bring out the thought around our sweet little girl. Not too many. Not too many at all. And this uh, is willing to go over just about anything. And some in here. I used a glaze around the outside of the stencil and some gold on the inside. And I had a bit of a problem there, so I uh, covered it up. I didn't know whether you could lay uh, embossing on top of another, and you can. Now let me explain how I got this. I'd had these pens for quite a while, an embossed pen by Ranger, and um, they did, at one time, did work quite nicely, but they had dried out. So, I said to myself, self, we have clear embossing ink, and we have this pad on here which worked wonderfully for these flowers. However, if I want to make a thin line using this dried out pen, which probably had the same ink inside of it, got my handy dandy knife out and sniggled it in here and I popped this cover off and I dipped and this is my first experience with it. And that uh, did take the embossing powder just nicely. And I imagine if I have a fine, I have to find something with a finer tip because this, um, this ink uh, should do the trick very nicely. So, I'm going to put away my, oh, 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 okay. I had put veins and leaves on one side. Let's have them here. The color of the embossing ink here does not match that lid, but that's all right. Now, I'm thinking that uh, I need to uh, frame these girls a little bit more. So, back to Pilot G2, since this is at the end of the project. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what they needed. And find this little sweetie. Here again, this uh, pilot will go over about anything that uh, you present to it. And the only thing I'm not happy with is a center. Well, speaking of which, are these dry? 
Yes, they are. Let's, let's see what happens if we just put just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit there. Does it just a center? And on that shiny embossing, there goes the G2, doing exactly what I would ask for. Right on that shiny embossing. because I really uh, find it very difficult to uh, leave well enough alone. And I'm sure you don't understand what I'm talking about now. Well, that brings them out just a little tiny bit. Just the tiniest bit here. Puts a little shadow behind them. That's just and uh, the rule of art, if you want uh, if you want something to show and it's light, put some dark behind it and vice versa. Now I'm just not really set to think that these might be uh, finished without a little bit of uh, some oxide distress. Yes, there it is bit of black soot judiciously added on the edges and I think I will be played out on this Not much. Probably a figment of my imagination. So, today everything plus some experimentation and my favorite little sweeties if you have enjoyed sharing this project with me please give me a thumbs up leave a comment share with a friend and I would appreciate you're subscribing to my channel. Let's have a closer look now. Many, many layers and glaze pens 
and sparkly embossing powders and green glaze and the sweetie's little face and there's the gold because I did use my uh, my go-to gel impact uniball pen in the center of the flowers and on this one there's the sweet little thing and the white embossing and on this one I did not use uh, <coughs> excuse me on this one I did not use uh, the uh, the gel, um, the glaze, I thought it would be a little heavy. So I used my um, Uniball permanent pen just to outline those and I missed an area right there. I'll get back to it. Yes, I used this uh, Uniball Signo DX, which um, means that it is uh, permanent. And there we saw the pilot work on this thick, shiny embossing powder. And this project will be the first one that I will be uh, actually dating for uh, 2019. How much fun is that? I think I will uh, do both pages. By now. <laughs> 